Hey guys, it's May 12th, 2018, and this video is slightly different than what I normally post on my channel, but some people might find some usefulness in it. So we've been going over some of the upgrades I've done to my Jeep. So this is a 2017 Jeep JK, and I've added a Rugged Ridge light bar and some KC LED daylighters onto it. Uh, I'm just going to talk to you guys about what I did uh, so far. It really didn't take that long to put all these on, uh, but it, probably a good weekend uh, overall, like the entire amount of time. That I've had devoted to this. Yeah, so since this video is on the light bar and the lights in particular, let me just tell you guys straight off, both of these products are super top notch in my opinion. They were working straight out the box and overall as long as you're, you know, at least slightly mechanically inclined, you could install it onto your Jeep no problem. It does take two people though, at least for the light bar. Uh, but yeah, the build quality is on point. I was like, shaking this around and the whole Jeep shakes but it doesn't move the the bar itself stays you know tight the lights are super amazing I got these lights uh, super expensive for LED lights but I mean that's what you get when you're buying quality right you're paying for that quality KC lights uh, the routing for the wires they come off the lights and they go hold on let me get to the other side you guys be able to see it better they come off the lights and they go down in here into the frame and it's actually hollow. And then, hold on, gotta go to the other side again. They go down in here and then from here, there's a little hole in the back of this frame and then it goes all the way into uh, wherever you wanna route the wires to. Me personally, I'm using a microcontroller to uh, control all of these lights all together. It's in here. It's uh, fire hazard central in there. But that's how it, I wired it up. And they're actually really bright. I got in trouble here because, uh, it, you know, it's middle of May. It's springtime in Vermont, but, you know, it should have been springtime a whole couple months earlier, at least in uh, regular parts of the country. But these guys got mad at me because they thought I was spotting deer out in the field using my, uh, my lights, which I wasn't. But uh, that's apparently illegal here. I just thought that, that was pretty funny. Yeah, I got the doors off, the T-tops off, just enjoying the spring day, and I thought I'd make you guys, uh, make a quick video for you guys. Anybody that's looking to maybe get something like this for their Jeep, it's it's on point. The wind, the wind noise when you're driving is definitely noticeable, though. Uh, when you're driving, like, above 45 miles an hour, it's, like, an insane amount of wind noise, but it's nothing that you, it's not to be expected, you know, like, you kind of expect that. Uh, other than that, they're super freaking bright. I mean, the frame itself is amazing. It does take two people to uh, load it onto the Jeep, but uh, otherwise, it's like on point. You see my shadow, yo, what's up, dudes? Uh, product is on point. It's just, it's amazing. If you guys have any questions about this, let me know uh, in the comments, and then uh, that'll be that.